Hi, today I am going to show you how to create Oracle database tables using GUI SQL developer tools. Basically our task is we want to create two tables, one is one employee table, another one is a department table using Oracle SQL developer tools. So I will just give a brief introduction what is SQL developer tool. Oracle SQL developer tool is a free integrated development environment that simplifies the development and management of Oracle database in both traditional and cloud deployments. So actually if you use this tool you don't need to write any command lines actually you can use all the features using the graphical user interface. This is mainly is very useful the beginners actually. If you are very beginner to Oracle database then you can use these tools for creating the tables and all. Okay. So for, to start with first thing you need is the, you should have a, a Oracle server. Uh, for me, I'm for this tutorial. I'm using a, a Oracle instance from Amazon. From where I got, I, I have a DNS name from Amazon. I have a username and I have a password, and also I have a service name. From this is the settings I received from my Amazon Cloud actually. Okay. Now, I need to you uh, to continue with this tutorial. I need a software called Oracle SQL Developer Tools. Actually, you can go to this link. I'll put the link also. So this is the software required you can download it from here also for this software to run you need at least you should have jdk 7 or above you know, in your machine so first you start you download the jdk 7 or above after that once you have the jdk then you just download this oracle developer tool set so i'll put this both the links in the comment line Okay, now I already downloaded this Oracle Developer Tools. So once I download, I'll just open it for you. Just open this application. So it's just loading now. Okay, now this, this one is ready actually. So, uh, for me, I already have the connection settings, everything stored here, but anyway, still I will show you. If, if you are a beginner, it will just open this, this much for you. So, our task is we want to create these two tables, but using the graphical user interface. We don't want to, we, we can write command line and you can, uh, we can write all the command line and you can create tables and everything from here, but we don't want to do that. So our intention is we want to use a GUI. So for that, what you should go to file, data modeler, then you go to import, then you use data dictionary. So if you open this one, when you click, it will ask you for the connection settings. So you just give all your settings. For example, for me, I have already set up a connection. So you can give like this. For you give any name for this one. This is the username. And this is the password. And this is the DNS or host name. This one I received from the Amazon. But if you have your Oracle server, you will get it from your system administrator. Okay, this is the port. And this is the service name. So once you fill this one, you just you can click test to test it. If it is successful, it will show it is success. So this will basically verify your whatever connection settings you provided is correct or no. Okay. So after that you can just go with the this one. So just click this. Click next. So now my Oracle SQL developer tool is connecting to the server and it is asking for the instance actually. So which schema you want to use. So I'm going to use for this tutorial, I'm going to use the schema Hanif. Okay. So I'll open the next one. So now we'll just it'll ask you want to which uh, tables you are going to use actually for this tutorial I'm not going to these are the existing table in my database I don't want to use any of these existing table I just want to go and create a new one so what you can do is just click don't select anyone anything just click next okay now this will say there is no object will be imported no problem just to click finish okay this is a summary you can close it Okay. so now I just open my interface so now everything is ready now I just want to create these two tables the first table I want to create is the employee table so go here go to the interface then you click new table you see if you click this one it will create a new table for you or you can okay now this is the table you just give a name called employee 
okay and press okay so let it create the instance okay now double click on that it will create you okay now you can click the columns you click the columns and you can create the columns you want for example we want employee id okay you select the logic and you select numeric it is a numeric number and you can make it as a primary key okay and when you select numeric you make sure the precision at least you give five or something like that okay apply so this is the first field in the first column you want the second column called the employee name logical you can select the worker okay and you want to you can mention how many characters you want i will put 100 character is the name of the employee and i should select your character not byte okay now i'll go and i'll create another field called employee department okay so this is logical i'll create a numeric i just want to put the department id here actually so just apply apply okay now i can put i want to put employee salary so it's a numeric field i'm going to put the salary here so numeric can put five maybe six digits maybe if people have with the ten thousand dollar salary also problem so you just click here okay so this is our first table okay so i can recycle right click here and i can make it resize to visible okay this is my first table so now i want to create so i have finished creating this table okay now i want to create this department table so i will go to the scale tool i'll create this one click here i'll put a name this is the department okay then i press ok so it is create then i click on that so and i'll add one adding the columns so i want to create first department underscore id can create logical can create numeric and also i want to create the primary key so here you put a precision file press apply okay now i want to add one more column called department name you can put logical and also you can put where care I'll put 50 okay this is the department name also i want to add another one another column called department head okay i'll put the logical i'll put worker and put 50 okay so i can i should select characters so this is also i should select characters okay so now this one I can make it resize to visible so that it will look beautiful. Okay. So now my task actually I have created this table and also I created the department table. Now my my job is to I want to create a foreign key so that whenever I en enter the employee table I just need to select this employee department from this table. So I'll add a foreign key for this one employee right click. If I double click this one, there is a field called foreign key. You can click here. Then it is asking you want which table. So I can put a table as department. Okay. So uh, there is a department ID column is there. So I select which column in the employee this one. So I want to select employee department and I make it mandatory. Okay. Now I can click apply. Okay. So now you can see that see, this one is referring to employee department is referring to this table actually. okay so this is i just created the table actually this is uh, the data dictionary actually it's not created any table it is just virtual but if you want to create the table for this one you just need to copy this and can go here and if you want you can create the general ddl okay 
this is my sql query for creating this table right so what i can do is and select this one okay so this is my uh, ddl for this uh, for this table so i'll go here and i can just add whatever is there i can just paste this whole code then i can create the script so this one now created the table well, let's go and check whether it is there you see i have created a table called department and it's loading and also i created a table called employee so this is the department and this is the employee so two tables I have created actually and there is no data anything so if you want i can put some data for this one from here using for example this one i'll add some data okay i'll put employee id one employee name a name okay let's put a department one I want to put the salary two thousand twenty thousand dollars. Okay. Now in the I can save this data. Okay. Here I can go to the data. I can add a department. For example, department one and department is information technology. Department head is. It. Okay, so after making this one, we can save this data. So, so now if you see your, uh, if you go and check here, you will have. You can see the what is the data you can use there. You can check. You can see. Run it here, and you can see the output. You see, it is showing the records here. Actually, this is the one table I created, uh, one that I added to the department. It is showing here. Actually, so this is end of my first tutorial. So what we did is we opened the, we installed Oracle SQL Developer tools, and we created two tables using GUI. Initially, what we did is we imported the data dictionary, data model, import data dictionary, and we selected our uh, this one, and we we just created our this one using from here. Okay. Uh, then we created the foreign key and everything. Then we created the DDL from using this one. You see this small button here, generate DDL. Then from there we copy that one into the SQL window, which created the whole table for us. Actually, hope you learn something and enjoy. Then I'll explain in part two how to integrate this one with the Visual Studio 2013. Thank you.